Hello, friends. My name is Kyle. Real Revelations Everywhere. In this video, I was kind of going to couple and combine with the first video of this little mini series. If you haven't seen that one, you can go watch it. I'm sure I'll reference it in a few ways. This one's going to be more about the mindset that comes along with in like kind of calibrating and gearing up the right way for your new found supremely effective and confident mindset that we are cultivating together excuse me folks that all in my mind starts with gratitude and uh not fucking whining all the time like really you really uh should not be whining <laughs> and like not that there's nothing to complain about not that there's nothing to change not that you know things couldn't be better but uh whining fucking gets you none of that whining is not something that results in effective change whining is not something that shows a confident ability to manage difficulty we'll put it that way uh in a much not nicer way, whining is goddamn fucking annoying. And for people that don't whine, who I have a lot of respect for, for I'm sure one reason or another, don't want to fucking hear it. I'll tell you that right now. And there is a good reason I make sure that I do not whine and complain as much as I possibly can. Because I don't want to fucking hear it. What does it get you? Fucking nothing. It's not constructive. It's not moving the chains forward. It is not cultivating a better mindset for the people around you. It is not constructive. Knock it the fuck off. And just like all the other bad habits, when you hear yourself doing it, you grab a hold of that and say, nope. Why the fuck? Is that coming out of me? What the fuck is this? This is undealt with garbage that deserves the same treatment as all of that other stuff. You fucking toss it in the trash, and then every time you hear it, you fucking kick it out of the air and say, no, 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 no,
much more complicated reasons behind the unfairness of what is occurring. It's not, you know, all these fucking things on the news and everything that you're being told to be afraid of and all of this fucking, everything is so downtrodden around me and all of this stuff is, it's just everything is so bad. Like, first of all, I'm sorry, but <laughs> just shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sorry if it comes off as insensitive, but wow. <laughs> Everybody's going through their own shit. Like, I really cannot understate how important it is to realize everyone is going through something. Mental issues, I'm not going to go towards illness because that is something that is so difficult to speak on and i deal with my own stuff up here i might speak on that one day if it goes on for long enough i find a hard it to avoid it but i'm sure you might look at me and think whatever you have thought but i promise you Whatever you have come up with is not the case. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It is actually fucking impossible for you to understand what I have been through in my life. And I say that to say the exact opposite is true. I am not here to judge you for what you have been through. Not that I don't care, but that I. I'm almost not allowed to care in a lot of ways. It is not in a way for me to know in the first place, to be able to actually effectively care about. Like, I, I cannot be fully aware of it. Not that I don't care about you. I absolutely do. No matter who you are. That is not for you to determine whether or not I care about you. Just in the same way as I would like to think that you care about me, but if you can't, if you don't, if you don't want to, that's not going to keep me from doing what I'm going to do. That's for you to decide. I'm sorry. I don't care. I don't care if you care. Not in that way, because it's not possible. Like, bottom line, there is no circumstance where I will completely understand you. And it goes both ways. But we can appreciate as much as we possibly can come up with. We can be as grateful as we possibly be can, because that's the right thing to do. Because there is so much to be grateful for. And it's hard to see a lot of the times. Trust me. I understand that. <laughs> oh, fucking trust me. I get it. It's hard to find. But it's up to you to fight for that ability within yourself. That is what it is. You start the caring. You are the change that you want to see in the world. Understanding why and how to care about people is really difficult, and it takes a lot to have that kind of emotional intelligence. But that's something that you have to practice and learn, and it is difficult, just like a lot of other things. But God, is it fucking worth it to change your perspective and be grateful and know that just the fact that you are still going like that's all there is that's what more could you ask for because we've got everything else once you appreciate and recognize what you have or if you don't right now you have the ability to make that happen it's not for anyone else to decide and it's going to be hard and for some people, 
I might not make it far enough to get the chance. But even if you don't, not fighting for it doesn't make it right. Even if you come up short and you don't make it that far, having never done it in the first place is absolutely unacceptable. Not trying just because you feel like it just isn't going to make a difference is so, so, so beyond unacceptable. I can't. I can't. I could not. I don't know what situation you're in, obviously. We've gone over that. And there are situations that are just absolutely fucking awful. I think we all know that. But not doing everything within your power leading up to those moments is what makes it all worth it. If you're not doing that for yourself, you're not getting anything done. I don't care how much money you think you have. I don't care what you think you own. I don't care about any of that shit. Really, I really, really don't. That stuff is not who you are. The lack thereof is not a lack of anything within you. You determine who you are. That's it. That is it. If you are a kind and caring person, you will be kind and you will care. If you're not, I feel bad for you. Honestly, I do. If you haven't fucking figured out how to be kind, why you should be kind, the benefits of helping everyone around you, Yeah, I just feel bad for you. I mean, that just like immediately leads to, you know, I don't want to be insulting, but like, really not that clever, huh? Like, you just don't care to really pay attention to anything real. You just, you're just a gullible ass fucking chump that'll just believe any fucking shit that is served to you on that rotten little dented up prison tray that is what you have allowed other people to turn your fucking brain into fuck that holy shit no fucking way no 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 what the fuck are you doing what a fucking waste of fucking time it's disgusting it's pathetic it's every bad word you can come up with it's fucked up is what it is it's unacceptable. I don't fucking care. Like, talk about the fact you wanna you wanna find out how I justify absolutely removing people from my memory. Prove to me that you don't care about anyone else. Prove to me that compassion is not within you. Piss off. Go fuck yourself. Like, really. I don't care. I, mean, I say that as someone that will turn around and immediately tell you right after that, I fucking love you more than you do. And I've never met you. And that is so easy to say because all you do is hate yourself. Because all you do is whine and complain with zero gratitude. And all I am operating off of is just an understanding that love and kindness, and actually genuinely caring about other people's well-being just automatically gives me such an advantage over so many people I can't even begin to explain it. You want to know what the number one advantage that you could possibly ever gain is? Give a shit about other people more than they do. And you, the, the perspective that you will unlock is literally the reason I am making this channel. Knowing what I know, not what I think about other people, because that isn't 
I don't assume that shit. I don't. I don't lie to myself. I do not allow that to happen. It's unacceptable. Remember all of those bad words that I just reeled off? It's all of that shit. And you doing it to other people is reinforcing how you do it to yourself. Unacceptable. It has to be. Every little thought is evaluated. Your mind turns from a hula hoop into a fucking tiny little sieve that you do not allow anything unwarranted to pass through. You control what is coming in and you think about every word. And I don't care where it comes from. I don't care if you think this guy's the biggest fucking doofus on the face of the earth. If, if he fucking spits out a little fucking nugget of gold and you miss it, that's on you. That is your fault. You determine what is of value. You determine why you are grateful. You determine your intentions. You have to know why you are doing this for yourself. Be grateful at every single turn that you have what you have. Whatever that is. That you are who you are. There's no one else to be. Everyone else is taken. I'm sure you've heard that one before. I hope so. And if not, it's the fucking truth. We need you to be you for us. For you. You have to be you for you. For everyone else to benefit from your presence. It really is. You have to be yourself to truly be a quality contributor to what you have going on. Whatever you think that is. Whatever we all think that is. My lighting situation has become completely fucked. I've been trying to not let that distract me. <laughs> Don't look down here. As I will swing my arms around and fuck up my key color. It's on. <clears throat> Bottom line. Gratitude. Bottom line. That has to be where you stop. Is that gratitude. That's where you rest. That's where you make your bed. Is gratitude. Anything less than that. No, doesn't work. Does not work. You are required to filter that out. Mindset has to be one of gratitude. Anything else is absolutely ineffective. Don't care what you're doing. There is a perspective to gain that will lead to gratitude in every single situation. It might not be out there for you, but when you look inward and you take inventory of how far you've come, what you are capable of, and acknowledging how hard you work, and acknowledging why you are doing what you are doing, that always gives you more confidence. It has to be for the right reasons, though. Otherwise, you are fucking lying to yourself, and that is unacceptable. Don't lie to yourself, or it all just falls apart. You haven't built anything real. You haven't connected the tissue of truth. You have not taken what you have seen and put it into action and have witnessed it physically change your perspective. It has to meet in the middle, and you have to fuse it together through hard fucking work and paying attention to the right things for the right reasons. Gratitude. There are so many reasons to be thankful. Just, you can, I'm sure there are a lot of videos that you can find that are just reasons to be grateful. Millions of reasons. Just because you've never heard any of them, just because you've never seen any of them, just because you aren't aware of them, does not mean that they are not there. Your ignorance 
is still say it with me unacceptable unacceptable do not do not do that to yourself you have to understand one thing above all else if you are going to take anything that i say for granted understand this you do not have the full picture i don't care who you are i don't care how much money you have i don't care what you have been through you don't have the full picture you weren't there for most of it you have not been around for 99.999 repeating things that have ever happened so how can you sit there and say that you know anything to be the truth fuck off oh my god fuck off if you just know you just know better you're just gonna say this is just what it is wow holy fucking shit how disrespectful to literally everyone else's intelligence fuck off do <laughs> you want me to fucking just walk away holy shit start speaking in matter of fact about shit that is just you it's the number one way to be wrong is just to just always speak matter of factly just everything is that is just the way that it is nope I'm gonna fucking break it all down clear it all out start over you have to start over don't take anything for granted don't take anything that anyone has ever told you without a grain of salt you have to determine its efficacy for yourself you are the only person that you can trust do it for yourself do not allow other people to think for you and it all comes back around to when you start doing that for yourself if it's not rooted within seeds of gratitude they will never grow into anything real. Hate buys you nothing. Nothing worth having. It doesn't get you anywhere. It doesn't do anything for you. If you aren't giving, what do you expect to get? If you aren't doing things based in gratitude, why would you expect to receive anything good ever? And if you've never received anything good, I would really consider how grateful you are and start your correlation right there. That's the beginning. Because it's fucking ridiculous. It really, really is. How much time is wasted just fucking complaining about nothing, nothing worth focusing on. You could actually be addressing the real issues and actually tackling stuff, and then you would have no reason to complain. Because if you're actually doing something about it, all of your words turn from, mm, the fucking meeting is totally here all the time. I don't fucking like this. I don't fucking do it anymore. To, this is what I have to do to make sure this isn't happening anymore. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. That's not complaining. That's constructive. What do I need to do about it? To do something real about it. Not, this is fucking, I don't think so really anymore. What are you going to do to you? Pathetic. And if you think that's not what you sound like, trust me. What I, my impression was fucking generous. You sound so much worse than and I don't give a fuck what you sound like. It's nails on the fucking chalkboard to people that actually do real shit. And if you think that you can just get away without doing anything real, nope, 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 nope. Everybody sees you just sitting around. Everybody sees it. Can't hide, especially not from yourself. No hiding from yourself. Absolutely not. Go do something about it. If you don't do something about it, nothing's going to change. And you're only still just going to complain. And that's just the most miserable, pathetic experience of a life that I could imagine. Someone that just fucking hides away and fucking complains. I could 
come up with all the reasons in the world of why you should be proud of so many other situations, even if it even if it doesn't turn out well, just fight, 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 fight for what you need, fight for it. But just fucking whining and just letting it, allowing it, allowing it to happen is just so so inexcusable, unacceptable, pathetic. Go back all the way through the bad words. Add a few yourself. You know? Get creative. Unacceptable is where I'm going to leave it. Don't. Don't. That's change. Wherever that starts, just planting the seed of this feeling even if it's far down the road, you gotta fight. You gotta fight. You gotta fight. It's unacceptable. You gotta fight back. You gotta do something about it. No more complaining. No more whining. No more whinging. Get it done. But know why you're doing it. And always remember be safe. Stay dangerous. Take it easy. Be ready to protect yourself. Unfortunately, I think it's a pretty reliable predict, a pretty reliable prediction to uh, consider. There's going to be quite a lot headed your way. You got to become as effective as you possibly can as quickly as you can. And complaining, holy fucking shit, only keeps you from becoming effective. Don't do it. No more. And when you hear other people doing it, constructively suggest that they also no longer do it. Because I don't want to fucking hear it. For real, I don't want to hear it. And if you need to send this video to them and have me speak with them, that's what this is for. Go ahead. And if they need to talk to me about it, let's do it. We can all talk together about it. Let's do it. But I'm not going to sit there and listen to you fucking complain. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I've experienced plenty of that. And uh, I draw the line. I have drawn many, many, many lines, and that's one of the biggest and most immovable lines I have ever drawn in the sand. Still around. Appreciate it. Any support that you find this provides, just... Keep spreading the love. Let's keep spreading the joy. Just be a solid, unwavering beacon of confidence. No matter who you are, that is something that you can absolutely accomplish. And it is one of the most effective things that you could ever possibly do. For yourself and everyone around you is to just not be someone that fucking whines and complains and just is a steady confident presence that just understands it's gonna get better it's gonna get better it's gonna get better just keep trying your best